A new report from Maine housing experts says the state is short tens of thousands of homes needed to keep up with demand here. This study tells us why this phenomenon has been getting worse for years now, and it's not just houses the state is in need of. The study defines homes as single family homes, attached housing and multifamily homes like apartment rentals. Good evening. Thanks for being with us today at five. I'm Brian Yacono and I'm Amanda Hill. The Main State Housing Authority, the Governor's Office of Policy, Innovation and Future and the Department of Economic and Community Development led the study, releasing it today. It came out just hours before this year's Affordable Housing Conference. News Center Maine's Sam Olson joins us with how experts broke down the numbers at this year's Affordable Housing Conference. She joins us now. Hi, Sam. Hi, Amanda and Brian. At today's Affordable Housing Conference, people discuss solutions to increase affordable housing options across the state. Those experts say Maine needs to make roughly 80,000 more homes available by 2030 to keep up with demand. And this new study shows Maine faces a number of roadblocks to reaching that goal. We really needed to get a handle on what the current accurate need is for housing in the state of Maine. A new study from state housing experts shows Maine is short around 84,000 homes to meet current and future demand. It points to several factors of why homes in Maine are becoming less affordable and more difficult to find, including historic underproduction as home creation dropped significantly after the Great Recession, aging housing stock, more people will move to Maine in the next seven years than the state has houses for. Maine's expected population growth will outpace demand. Low supply of homes led to more competitive prices, a mismatch of prices for Maine's available homes and what new workers can afford as there are more older workers retiring and seasonal homes, which often serve as vacation homes, which don't serve Mainers year round. Factors that make the few homes available almost impossible to get. As recently as five or six years ago, the median home price in Maine was pretty close to what the median household could afford. But now the study says households in Maine need to make more than $100,000 per year to afford the median home price in Maine, which means buying a home here is not affordable for the majority of people who call Maine home. On top of high cost is lack of supply. Maine needs roughly 38,000 homes to fix the historic underproduction and up to 46,000 homes to meet projected population and household changes by 2030. Clearly, we have a challenge in front of us that's greater than anything that we've experienced before. So much of this work is going to have to be about changing the conditions on the ground that allow the private sector to build more of the housing that we so desperately need. At today's conference, leaders and stakeholders in the industry discussed potential solutions to these roadblocks. Housing experts say this study allows them to start somewhere because they needed to know how bad the problem was in order to properly address it. They plan to create an online dashboard that shows housing conditions across local, county and state levels. Brian, Amanda. Some of that impacts all of us in the state. Sam Olson, live in the newsroom. Thanks so much, Sam.